have John at war with red geek and the black geek. Basically, the concept is shoulder trap from the close guard. Lapels are out. I'm breaking this posture. I feed this lapel, okay? His left lapel under his left arm around his back. I kind of keep him here, all right? And then the next thing I want, I want to keep that slack, uh, meaning keep it tight so there's not slack, and I want to keep breaking his posture here. Legs high, not like this, but high, because I want to break his posture here, okay? Next thing I want to do is I want to shift him over to my left. I want to feed this lapel tight here, okay? Push him to the left, grab the same lapel, forearms together in the neck, bend your elbows, and then you finish the choke, okay? So you're breaking posture here. He's posturing. I want to break his posture here. Go break, break, break. And you're constantly feeding this lapel here. Feed it to the left so that he's tilting to your left, his right. And feed it here. I need to feed it really tight so there's literally no slack here. Okay? We have to push him to the left with my legs and my hand. Through here. Forms together. And then I pull the right one back. Oftentimes, they're gonna defend with their right hand here. So what you can do is you can get into a nice high guard here and it immobilizes the disarm from being able to effectively help here. From here, if they're still defending, even with this arm here, he's pushing my arm right here, pushing around. I start trying to pull this like an arm lock and it feels like you're going in an arm lock so he can pull this out right there, which is what I want him to do anyways because I immobilize that arm and then go right back here and finish the choke. This is the more advanced way. The more basic way, breaking posture, feed it, and you keep pulling both hands on the same lapel. I wanna pull them to my left and legs to the left as I feed it here. Tight, push them to the left, grab that same lapel, forms together, and hips. Sometimes, if they're late to defend this, even if he gets his hand in there or there and he's pushing that elbow, you can get your elbows in here and bring your left elbow to your hip and it becomes really super tight, okay? This is the beginner way to do it. Forms together, pull them in and the right hold. The advanced, they're gonna defend. Yes, right there so I can move my hips out and get a nice high guard right here. And then from here, I can honestly choke him right there. If his arm is through, right here, and I get a high guard here, and he's stopping me with this hand here, I'll stop pulling on this hand, almost like an arm lock. Oftentimes, they have to defend this arm here. Here, again. And finish. Real simple, really effective. This is the lapel shoulder shot. Let's do it, one, two, three. Now, here's what I want you guys to do. Repetition is key. I want 15 reps each. That's gonna give you 15 times to do it, 15 times to feel it. So you can break it up into five uh, reps of uh, five sets of three or three sets of five, whatever you want to do. But I want repetition now. Repetition, repetition, and less chit chat. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. 